evening, good evening, Smiles Tribe. Welcome back to another video. Um, um, okay, sorry, y'all. Did it delete? Did it stop? Okay, so welcome, Smiles Chart. Welcome back to another video. If you're just tuning in for the first time, my name is Lisa Smiles, and I am a natural hair care specialist here in Raleigh, North Carolina. Here on my channel, we kiki. We get that word up in here, and we also get your natural hair together. So if that's something that's going to interest you, stay tuned for the video tonight. We're going to be talking about how to detangle tightly coiled hair, as y'all can see, and style it. Okay, so this is going to be a really good video. So y'all make sure y'all go ahead and share this out because it's going to bless somebody. Somebody going to get set free today. Lift up your hands right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I got me a white paper towel tonight. Oh, yeah. Let me get my paper towel. Oh, I'm about to get me a long piece of paper towel because we're going to lay them out in the spirit tonight. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got a paper towel. Sha na na. Okay. Um, so yeah. So yeah, um, if you are someone that is dealing with eczema, dry skin, or you're looking for something to moisturize your hair, I mean moisturize your skin. I am also the creator of the million dollar glow butter, which is here. So if you're suffering from dry skin. Uh, it's an all-natural body butter that I personally make that has healing properties for eczema, dry skin, or you just simply, you just want your skin to uh, glow, okay, like me. You want to glow like me? You can go ahead and get you some. The link in the description box. And another one, if you are someone, um, you are not in the North Carolina area, and you just need some one-on-one -on -one help, you need to, uh, you're struggling with your natural hair, you don't know what products work. You don't know what kind of hair regimen. Maybe you're trying to grow your edges, babe. If any of these problems apply to you, you just want your natural hair care to be simple. You want to be personalized. Feel free to book a one-on-one -on -one hair coaching session. And I'm going to simplify your routine, help you to get your hair grow, help you to get it healthy. And yeah. And lastly but not least, let me offer this too. Because if you are a stylist, Maybe you are a new stylist or maybe you're a stylist you've been in the game for a while and you need to exchange some ideas. You're trying to figure out how can you get book solid, okay? How can you have client retention? If you need help with your marketing, you can also book a stylist mentorship call as well, okay? That is all the church. Oh, one more church announcement. I didn't say church announcements at first, but all the church announcements. Another church announcement. Last night we talked about well, so for Sunday, we talked about the praise and worship list. So if some of y'all had asked, I, I sent it to Queen Lisa H. But if y'all want my praise and worship list, if you go to my playlist on my channel, you should see the praise and worship playlist. OK, so hopefully that'll be an encouragement to y'all. It got some old school. It got some new school. It got some a little bit of everything. Nice variety. So, yeah. Is that all the church announcements? I feel like I had a lot of church announcements tonight. I think that's all the church announcements. We're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and get started. And before we get started, I got to go ahead and greet the smile drop in the building. First in the building, we got L.A. Will saying, hey, that head looks scary. Just like the one I, is that just like the one I have, I told Hey, it, it ain't scary to me. I love thick hair like this. I love it. I love it. Now, y'all, I got a new little setup, so I'm sorry if my camera is shaking. I got, uh, I'm trying to do a little setup, so if it shake a little bit, that's because it's kind of on this unstable table, and I'm trying to get my concoction set up, but y'all just bear with me with the shaking, okay? L.A. said, not a paper towel. It'll lay you out. Come on, somebody. Get delivered tonight. All right, and um, who else we have? Lisa H, Queen Lisa H is in the building, already in here kicking. My hair does not absorb anything but heat. <laughs> well, we're going to get you together tonight. Okay, so first, this is one of the main problems. People don't like to detangle their hair. Gosh, I got to figure out how to make the table not move so much, but we're going to just let it slide. 
so first we're going to detangle this now this is a new this is a new mannequin head that i got now i hope that phone don't fall lord don't fall so y'all won't see all my ghetto concoction <laughs> okay all right so this is a new little mannequin head okay now i'm not sure if she could do a whole lot of shedding but if you do buy one of these mannequin heads to practice, I just want to warn you, I don't bought a, a gazillion of these things. They will shed. And I know some people are like, oh my gosh, it sheds a lot of hair. I mean, with sis, I mean, it's just like our hair. It, it is going to shed. So don't be alarmed if you buy one of these off of Amazon and they shed. It is what it is. I'm going to try to do my best to detangle it to the best of my ability so I won't lose as, as much hair. But this is probably the most realistic one I've seen in a long time because y'all see her hair is really, really coily. And this is going to be really, really good to experiment on for those who want an in-depth look of what detangling and styling on tightly coiled hair looks like. Okay. And she got all kinds of split ends. Like I'm looking and we can just go ahead and do a consultation right now. I'm looking. Y'all see how this is coming out? All kinds of split ends. All kind of split ends and shit, and she need all kind of breakage. So we got Queen Heart in the building. She just joined. She said, "Hey, Smile Shop, why her eyes so serious though? Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. We gotta name her. We gotta name her. We gotta give her a name because we got we got Tiffany Lachey, and we got Tanika. We need a name for her. I'm not sure what the, her name would be yet, but I don't know why her eyes looking like that, Queen Heart." Um, she legit want to be in my dreams. <laughs> she gonna be in your dreams. <laughs> Don't look at her eyes, then. Don't look at her eyes. Okay, LA said the mannequin facial expression looks just like my face when I take these braids out and I have to deal with this with this monasterious underneath. I hope I pronounced that right. But yeah, look at her. Look at her. I don't know why she's looking like that, but hopefully she'll be smiling by the time we're done. Okay, so how to do how to how to detangle coily hair? Let's go ahead and get started. So first, the tools you're gonna need you're gonna need a wide tooth comb. You're gonna need like a tangle teaser or a denim brush, one with um where the teeth is very forgiving. And when I say very forgiving, I mean they being like that. Okay, and then or you can use one of these brushes, powder brush. And this is probably better if your hair is a little bit longer. But to me, if your hair is tightly coiled and it's kind of short, this works better in this. Okay, you're going to need your fingers. You're going to need some sectioning clips. You're going to need a detangler of your choice. And tonight, I'm probably going to be using a little bit of rosemary and uh, honey almond leave-in. And you also going to need, oh, a water bottle. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. So... When it comes to detangling hair, I'm going to start with my fingers first. I'm not even going to start with a comb. I'm going to start with my fingers. So what you want to do is give the hair four parts. Now, if it's like... <laughs> I'm dropping everything. So what you want to do, I have to stand up and do it to the side. I want to get my laptop. So you're going to take this Mr. Bottle. And I have some of these on my Amazon site. Let me cover her eyes. Give her a little light mist with water. You want it just to be a slightly damp before you start. It don't have to be soaking wet, but slightly damp. All right. And then I'm going to take my fingers and start. Oh, child, I need me. Child, I need a towel. I feel like I need a. Let me get a towel. I'll be back. Okay, so I got a towel because, honey, I'm about to have, I'm about to have water. I'm about to have water everywhere. Let me drape her. First, you're supposed to drape your client. That's what the first thing you're supposed to do, Lisa, drape your client. So I'm going to take my fingers and go ahead and part down the middle. And these parts don't have to be perfect. You're gonna, we're going to make four sections, okay? So I'm going down the center of her head. Try to keep up with the comments. Go ahead 
And go ahead, the Holy Spirit child, she looked like me. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Okay. So we part from the forehead to the nape. And then I'm also going to part from ear to ear. So I'm divide. And remember, doing this part, just use your fingers because it's tightly coiled. And just gently pull the hair apart, okay? Gently pull the hair apart. Don't be rough with the hair. Because you don't want to break it off better than what it is, child. So you're going to take your clip and, child, I'm about to do some work. Let me move this out the way. <laughs> I'm about to do some work. Okay, so I'm going to section the back part. Okay, then I'm going to take this section and I'm going to put it and just pull it apart. Okay, be gentle. Just use your hands. Okay, and then you can take this part and you're going to section it. Now, and you can put your section in clips. So you can either use the butterfly clips like this or you can use the um the crocodile clips. And I didn't bring nothing in here. Girl, what you do with your other um? What you do with your other clip? What's gonna be her name, y'all? What she do with her other clip? Oh, there it go. It fell over here. Okay, the last clip. So here's a trick. If it's really, really tangled bad, what you can do is the parts is tangled really bad, and this rosemary is a multi-purpose. So if it's tangled like really, really, really bad. You're going to take the rosemary spray and spray it on the tangles, okay, and let it sit. Now, this stuff is too expensive to be playing on this baby doll head, okay? So, I'm not going to spray this for real on her hair. We're going to pretend, okay? I'm going to use water because her hair is tangled, but it's not that bad where it needs this. But if you got some challenging parts, spray this. Like, for example, you can say squirt, squirt, spray it, and rub it in, okay? Whatever part is really bad. Spray it, let it sit, rub it in, put a plastic cap on it, maybe go wash some dishes for 10 minutes, come back, and then start detangling. Or if you ain't got the rosemary spray, you can use the honey almond leave in. That's a good detangler, or the coconut milk. Same thing apply. Spray it on whatever part is really, really tangled bad. Let it sit 10 minutes with plastic cap, come back. Okay, so let's pretend like we did that, and then we came back, and so we're going to start detangling. So when you have your four sections, I break it down into a subsection, okay? So I'm gonna take this section and break it down right here into two sections. Okay? And it's always good to work in sections because you have more control. So then we're gonna spray our detangler of choice, or you can uh, detangle with water. I'm gonna be detangling with water because, honey, she ain't about to use up all my good products. Not yet, anyway. Okay? So, when you detangle, you're going to make sure you hold it because that gives you more control. That way you're not hurting yourself or you're not hurting your child. And you always start from the ends and then you work your way up, okay? Never start from right here because that's going to hurt and it's going to be hard. So, if you start down here and work your way up, it makes the process easier, okay? So, now, if it's really, really tangled, what you can do is like a pre-detangle with your fingers. So y'all see how I'm taking my fingers and pulling it apart? So you can take it and pull it apart like that. If it's really detangled, like finger detangle with your fingers first, especially if you're really, really tender headed. Okay. So after you do that, then you did the pre-detangle, and then you're going to take it, and you can start from the end. We're going to comb. Now, I'm going to be very careful because I don't want her to lose a whole lot of hair. Is the camera shaking too much, or is the camera good? I'm trying to be careful. I wonder, you know what I could do? Now, I hope I don't mess up my concoction. I just thought about another idea. Y'all, hold on. Y'all still there? Hold on. Yeah, Lisa. That okay, that was perfect. Okay. Yeah, I'm in my um I'm in my warehouse. I'm in a, a glow border warehouse. 
oh that camera's far but i can see y'all from um this this actually a better setup lisa that way the camera ain't shaking okay yeah put that on the desk this right here sidebar this right here is my steamer that i have at home i steam my hair at home these are on Amazon and these th these steamers work pretty good. So Christmas time is coming up. If you want a steamer, go click um in my description box for my Amazon store, add it to your cart and tell somebody to buy it for you for Christmas. Okay. So yeah. All right. So let's see. Um, Andrea just joined. Thank you so much for joining she said hello everyone i'm new subscriber yay thank you for subscribing to my channel um let's see what she said she said i think you should give an african name we should call her abina which means we ask we ask for her and behold her we got her did i did i say that right abina 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 Abina. Did I pronounce that right, y'all? Thank you for joining. Okay. So now, y'all see how easily I was able to detangle that? Okay. So when you have this part detangled, what you want to do is either put a clip on it or twist it to keep it detangled. So what I'm going to do is a jumbo two strand twist. Okay. Just so I can keep it out the way. All right. Oh, this some this some good natural hair right here, boy. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this some good. Oh yeah, this some good natural hair. Okay, so I'm gonna take this part and make it into another subsection because remember the top part of your head, that dome, and that dome is big. That dome is big. You, the the back of your head is a lot narrower, so sometimes. I always like to start in the front because that's where most of the hair is. So, so again, if it's really, really detangled, come and detangle it with your hands first. Child, she got all kinds of split ends. I ain't gonna trim her ends though because she she already got a little bit of hair. Does she look like she's smiling now? She looks like she's smiling a little bit now because I'm doing something to her hair. Okay, so I'm detangling it with my hands. I'm detangling it. Okay. And if y'all have any questions, just drop them in the chat as I'm going, okay? All right. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to start from the ends, and we're going to work our way down. And remember, hold it just to give it control. And, and if you get stuck somewhere and it's hard take the comb out and start from the end again okay all right i'm gonna put this one in a twist and get her some little dry right there she got some breakage y'all we gotta repair her we gotta repair her so do y'all have any hairstyle in mind y'all want me to do because we're gonna do like a quick a quick style on her tonight. It's something quick. We ain't got all night. And just keep in mind, if you go on Amazon and buy these mannequins, y'all, like, I don't know what it is about these mannequins. Like, if you shampoo them, like, a couple of times, it relaxes the hair, which meaning it's the curl pattern is looser. So that's kind of what happened with this mannequin head. And then plus I color her. So just keep that in mind. Try to like minimize shampooing it as much as you can. Um, just Only if you just want to keep that nice tight texture. But they're still good to like practice like braids and stuff like that. Okay, so we got that first section out the way. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to start on this section. Because I can already tell with the water a little bit, it relaxed it a little bit. Okay, we're going to take our subsection. And what's her comb? Abina. That's going to be her name. Do Abina still got an attitude, though? Oh, Abina. Oh, girl. 
Hold your head to the side. <sighs> we have a hold her head to the side. Let me use my hand. And you know, just take your time. Make sure you got a good movie on. Like, don't don't get upset. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. And y'all see, she has some shedding going on. So, not as bad as shedding as I was expecting. Not as bad as shedding as I was expecting. No, she's softening up. Okay. Well, that's good, Queen Heart. Because <laughs> she said she had an attitude. So, yeah, she got a little bit of shedding. But that's not bad. That's not bad. Okay, woman. Well, divide this into two. I have to put some eyelashes on them. Do a whole eyelash tutorial. But I'm too mad how they start my girl off with split ends, though. Like, come on now, Amazon. Did y'all have to give her split ends off the rip? That's messed up. This part, mm, this part right here is really thick. Yeah, this part is really thick. So. We're going to just take our hands and divide it. That's a real deal mannequin. It really is. This is the real deal. This is the real deal mannequin. If you really want to know how to practice, if you got little girls, or maybe you're expecting a baby, and you really want to know how to, um, you want some practice on some thick natural hair, oh, this is it. This is it, sis. Okay, so we're going to take this subsection and we're going to start again. And when you take your time detangling, y'all, it minimizes as much shedding and breakage. Well, I didn't say shedding, but breakage because shedding is just going to happen. Your hair is going to shed every day. That's just, a, that's, just, that's just what it is. But as far as breakage, you can minimize that with taking your time with the detangling process. Okay. Now, so we got all that detangled. Does she look like I'm hurting her or does she look pleasant? <laughs> okay. And that's how much shed hair we got from that section. I'm going to show y'all the amount of shed hair she have at the end. Okay. Queen Heart said, honestly, my first mannequin that, honestly, first mannequin, mannequin that mimics real hair. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. That's real. That's that Sealy. That's real, bro. That is real. Okay, so. Girl, turn your head, turn your head, turn your head. Uh, Abina, Abina, turn your head. Turn. Okay, I'm going to have to just take her off so she can turn her head. Good gosh, she got a tight grip. Okay, so we're going to do the back. <laughs> we're going to do the back section. Oh, let me, I forgot to share this on my, um, my community page. I've been trying to remember to do that. All right. We're going to do the back. Oh, I messed that up. All right. So now we're going to take this one and divide it into another subsection. As y'all know, Working in sections is a lot better. Okay, Queen Heart said, after detangling ahead of time, how does one prevent shrinkage while styling other sections? Oh, how do you prevent shrinkage while detangling the other sections? 
by doing it in two strand twists, like jumbo twists, and clipping it down and clipping it down so it won't shrink up. Because if you just leave it out, it's going to shrink. But you can keep it stretched by, like, you see how I have this one stretched out? What you can do is just do a jumbo twist that's going to keep it stretched out. Okay, so we're gonna go right here and do this side. You can you can twist it, or you could just take it and um like get a clip and then clip it back there. Does that answer your question? That's how you keep it stretched out. What she say? Not not silly. <laughs> Okay, I notice her hair is a lot shorter in the back. Okay, and then we're gonna get this side. She said, "Okay, thanks. You're welcome." All right, we're gonna comb her out. I'm gonna twist this side, and then clip it down. All right, and this is the last side right here. Uh-oh. Now, it's, I'm getting through her hair fairly quickly. Um, and this this how it should be, honestly. If you don't have a whole lot of split ends. Um, she got some split ends, but they're not, like, terrible. Now, girl, you got to stay up here. You got to stay up here. She got to stay up here. She was about to fall down. All right, we'll clip her up. Oh, that table's shaking. So, Queen Heart, you could take it like that and then just clip it. Or you can get one of those um those duck those duck bill clips and clip it down. Or the crocodile clips. Okay, I'm gonna spritz it right here. China got hot up in here. Let me turn this fan on. Child, she got me in here working. Let me drink my emergency. Mmm. And got a sister working hard. Okay. So we're going to detangle this right here. And then we're going to detangle this one. All right. So guess what? We all done with her detangling. We all done with her detangling. And just another tip, too. This is another tip. So, let's say you already have your style in mind. My suggestion would be, whatever kind of style you're about to do, go ahead and part your hair in that direction. Oh, good God almighty. I'm trying to make sure my thing ain't about to fall. Okay, so whatever style you're about to do, Make sure you already have your hair parted in that direction. So, for example, like, say you wanted to do, child, I got to sit down. I'm working, I'm working too hard, and I'm off work. <laughs> Let's just say you're going to do, like, a side part or something like that. Go ahead and part your hair in that side part or that middle part or whatever kind of style you can do. Go ahead and section it off into your style. And then detangle. And since we already kind of got a middle part, we're going to do a style with a middle part since the part is already there. It makes things a lot easier. She said, got hot while in the kitchen. Yes, child. <sighs> got a sister over here working hard. Okay, so what we're going to do today, well, tonight, is we're going to do some two-strand twists, okay? If that's going to be something easy that... You can do on your natural hair. So I'm going to take out these two 
and we're going to part her hair in the middle. I kind of feel like this is old school. She's sitting in between my legs. Hold your head back. Hold your head back. Sh nah, 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 nah. Oh, she about to fall off. Oh, I'm sorry. Abina. Sorry. <laughs> so remember, if you want to do... Oh, so this is the shedding. This is all the shedding that we had from detangling her. And you know what? This is actually... Let me stand up so y'all can see. This is actually pretty good for a mannequin because... Some people on the reviews, they just be, they be clapping. They be like, oh my gosh, there's so much shedding. But I guess with me, because I'm a hairstylist, I'm kind of used to it. And it made it seem like it was extreme. Or maybe they don't know how to detangle their mannequin right. But that's the shedding from the mannequin. And honestly, it's not even bigger than my palm. That's not a lot. And that's honestly about average for. Somebody who haven't detangled in like two weeks. So I was honestly expecting this to be a lot more because we're on the mannequin head. And you know, mannequins, they're fake anyway. So they have to wove that hair in. So it's possible that more can shed. Okay. So if you want to do a middle part, you're gonna start at the you're gonna start at the nose or her nose. And take it up. Okay. Okay. I like the way you're parting, girl. Okay. She got her middle part. Got her middle part. Y'all see her middle part? It's looking right straight. Okay. This part is detangled. We're going to take this out. Okay, and we're going to part it from ear to ear as well. So we can take all our little twisties out and part it from ear to ear. Okay, she got a little twist out already. Y'all see that? A little rousa dazzle. Okay. Might do her a twist out. And then show y'all the results tomorrow. Okay, and then we're going to take our comb and part from ear to ear. Now, when, once you have detangled your hair properly, you can go in with one of these um, rat tail tooth combs and part your hair. It, it's a lot easier now that it's detangled. It should separate well, like it's doing now. Okay? So, we're going to part that from ear to ear. Clip it back. And then we're going to part this from ear to ear. And we're going to clip this part back, okay? All right, I'm going to have to use some real product now. All right, so now we got her middle part. And now we're going to be doing some two-strand twist, which is a easy style, even great for those who don't know how to braid. This is the perfect style. So I'm going to take, oh, Tracy Ann had asked about this on my YouTube shorts. I had posted a short about how to do semi-circle parts and what's the difference. So tonight, we're actually going to do the semi-circle parts because I always do square parts on my page. And I want to show y'all a different variety is the semi-circle parts. And the reason why I say semi-circle is because it looks more natural. Um, it kind of fills in the gaps a little bit better than the, the blocks. Um, it's more of a natural look, but you can choose whatever kind of parts you want. You can do square, you can do semi-circle, okay? Andrea said, I have an issue with parting the back of my head. Please show us. Oh, thank you so much for that question. So I got a good technique for you, Andrea. So what you want to do is if you have a hard time parting the back of your hair, go to your bathroom because most bathrooms, they have the large vanity mirror where you have a wider range. So I'm going to use this mirror as an example, okay? So imagine, this is going to be my bathroom mirror. So imagine that oh so imagine that this is the bathroom mirror. Okay, so the bathroom mirror, you know, takes up this whole wall. So what you're going to do 
what you're going to do is, here's the bathroom mirror. You're going to sit your booty behind on that counter. Or you can you can bring a chair in between, or you can bring a chair and sit it in front of your bathroom sink. So you want your back facing the largest part of the sink, the largest part. And what can I use? Okay, I'm going to use this book. Okay. So imagine this self-love book is my handheld mirror. So with your back facing the largest part of the mirror, now you got your handheld mirror. Your handheld mirror, you're going to hold it at an angle so you can see the back of your hair. And then you're going to take your comb and part. Now, it's going to take some practice at first. It's going to take some practice. If it's too much for you to hold the handheld uh, mirror, get you one of those um, door mirrors. I have like a real, real big uh, mirror in my bedroom, and I slide into my bathroom when I do this. So I slide that, what you call those tall mirrors? You know, they're like the real decorative long mirrors. I slide it in my bathroom, and I prop it up against the the um, wall of my bathroom so that way I don't have to hold no mirrors and then that way I can part the back of my hair so I hope you understand that explanation hope that answer your question okay oh coach Sheena is in the building hey coach Sheena thank you so much for joining tomorrow is coach Sheena's birthday it's your birthday. It's your birthday. Okay. She said, hey, smile child. Welcome, Andrea. These comments are hilarious. Oh, you already reading the comments. The comments are funny already. All right. Coach Sheena said, this red headband and lipstick is amazing, Lisa Smiles. You're doing the most and looking fabulous. Thank you, Coach Sheena. Thank you, Coach Sheena. All right. So we about to do the semi-circle parts okay queen heart said great technique let me they got me working hard okay and i'm trying to sit down because i build my feet too much all right so with the semi-circle parts what you want to do you want to take it and you're going to do a semi-circle okay so you're going to start at the ear and all you're going to do is just do um a upside down c so that's all you're going to do. You can do an upside down C and you're going to pull it like that. So can y'all see that? I know the camera's kind of far, but hopefully y'all can see that. Y'all see that C? All right. And we're going to clip this out the way. Oh, she about to fall. Abina, Abina. So I'm going to take some of this phone. I don't want to use all my good stuff. But you can use a curl cream, you can use a foam, you can use a gel. This, this is what I have tonight. So you're going to apply the foam and you can take either a small tooth comb and start from the ends and work your way up. Now, I know some people are like, oh, you shouldn't use small tooth comb. But look, we have already properly detangled her hair. So at this point, it's okay to go in with a small tooth comb. Or if you don't have a small tooth comb, you can go in with one of these brushes a uh, denim brush okay and you can brush it through and the whole point of brushing that product through is so it can easily distribute through the hair all right and then when it comes to two strand twisting i wish y'all could i wish i could zoom in for y'all but we can't but that's okay so with two strand twists it's plenty of tutorials on my page but since i love y'all and since we live i'm gonna show y'all again so a two strand twist always remember to start off with two even sections. This is so important, and this is where a lot of people mess up because their sections are not even, and they have to borrow hair, and so when they take out their twist out, it's frizzy, okay? So start with two even pieces, and you're going to keep your fingers. I got to stand up. It's the hairstylist in me. I got to stand up. You're going to take your fingers, and you're going to begin to twist at the root. Now, remember, the tension is so important. Don't do like this. Don't twist like that. Keep your hands to the scalp. You let the twist move your hands down. Don't you move your hands down. So, for example, right here, 
I'm going to twist at the root. I'm not relaxing my hands. My hands is coming down because the hair is coming down. Does that make sense? I'm not relaxing. You don't relax. You don't relax. And then when you twist so you can't twist no more, you just take it and you do a twirl. If your hair is 100% natural, it's going to twirl. A lot of people are like, how do you get it to curl at the end? Honey, that's, that's that Jesus juice. That's just how God made our hair. It's going, it's going to curl and twirl and it's not going to come out. So I'm going to show y'all what the difference will look like if you relax your hands. So we're going to do another semicircle. Okay, Abina, Abina. Turn your head. Okay. So we got this first semicircle. With the second one, you're going to take it and you just do another circle right beside it. All right. It's hard for y'all to see her scalp, but we got the second circle. We did it right beside it. Now, I ain't using all my good products on Abina because mm -mm, it costs too much. So we're going we're gonna to pretend like this is some product. We're going to take some water. And we're going to take our brush, start from the end, work your way up. Now, for those who like to be lazy, this is, this is the difference. This is, this is what happened with some people. They have their two pieces and they do like this. Y'all see how I just move down my hands? Then they do it like that. So, I don't know if y'all can tell the difference between which one looks more uniform. We have the one with uniform, and then we have this one that's all loose. And look at the roots. Look at the roots. The roots ain't even tight. Okay? It's a big difference. So, you got to make sure... When you're doing a two-strand twist, you take your time and you have good tension. Now, if your hair is sometimes on the thinner side and you don't like a whole lot of scalp to show, sometimes it is good to have a puffy root because they kind of hide your scalp. But people with that thick hair, they be wanting them roots to be twisted. So that's the difference. All right. Okay, Queen. Okay, Coach Sheena said, yes, it does make sense. Okay. Um, Queen Heart said, "Makes sense." I see now why my braids and tit uh twists were not tight to the root. Yeah, it's your tension. It's your tension. I'm gonna be standing up and down, y'all. Y'all forgive me. Okay, Abina. <laughs> Vernell has just joined. Thank you for joining, Vernell. So I'm gonna take this one out and do it the right way. Um, Brunel said, Hey, everybody, and Lisa, how much do you pay for your mannequins? Oh, I don't pay no more than $30 for them because I, I be playing in them. So, any sometimes you can Amazon have them on sale for about $25, about $25, $30. No, no more than $30. No pay no more than $30. I mean, you can pay more than $30, but it's to me, it's not worth it because they practice dolls. But you can you can get a good quality one for about twenty five thirty dollars. Okay. So now, now when it comes to doing these semicircles, here's the key: you want to um, make sure you're placing a semicircle in between each twist. So, for an example, because this gonna be hard to see on the mannequin head. For an example, for an example, let me show y'all some. I'm about to draw something for y'all. Oh, dang, I would drop it. I know my mama watching this land. Lisa's still over there playing with baby dolls. Yeah, mom, I'm still playing with baby dolls. Ain't nothing changed. I'm still playing with baby dolls. Okay, so for example, when it comes to the semicircle, I'm left-handed, so don't y'all talk about me. The Lord loves left-handed people. So we did the first semicircle, okay? And then we did the second semicircle right there behind it. So now we have to go in and close in the gaps. So your next part should be right here. Okay. And then what we're doing is filling in the gaps. 
your next semicircle right there. Then you do, we're going to do the whole bottom row semicircle. And then all you're going to do is keep placing one in between the gaps. It's called, that's called Brit layer. And then you're going to take one, fill in the gaps. Fill in the gaps. So that's the pattern you want to do. So you won't have a whole lot of gaps and it looks natural. So I had to show y'all on paper because it's kind of hard to see on the mannequin. So that's the kind of parting thing you, you want to do. Look, I'm going to go ahead and let y'all know this trying to get monetized. <laughs> y'all going to have to pay. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm really not, but I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing. But now I'm going to still give y'all some content. But no, so that, that's how you um do the semicircle. So now I done did these two. So what I'm going to do is go in between. Go in between right here. And make a part. Okay. Now. Oh, Lord, y'all got me huffing and puffing up in here. Jeez. Jeez. Uh. Yeah. Okay, let me see. Queen Heart said, Hey, soon to be birthday girl. It's Coach Sheena. It's Coach Sheena's birthday. It's Coach Sheena. Now, Coach Sheena, I'm going to leave you alone for your birthday. I'm not going to ask you to read to me. I'm not. So it's okay. It's okay if you don't read to me on your birthday night. I get it. I get it. I'm, a, you know, I'm going to give you grace all week because it's your birthday week. Okay. So we're going to detangle and we're going to start twisting. So I'm going to read through some of these comments and y'all can watch me twist. Um, okay. Coach Sheena said, oh gosh, guilty as charged. Oh, okay. You be relaxing your hands, Coach Sheena. Yep. My twist be looking grown out two weeks old. Yeah. Um, Queen Heart, we got to get that together. We got to get that together. <laughs> yeah, Yo, you got to make sure when you are twisting. And I know I know y'all be tired, but you got to that that's the key thing. You got to make sure that tension is together. Okay? So right here, two even sections and look at my hands. Keep the hands to the scalp. Keep the hands to the scalp and then twist down. Okay, Lisa H said, big, big difference. Yep. Hey, T. Will, thank you so much for joining. Tracy Ann is in the building. Hey, Tracy Ann, thank you so much for joining this live stream. She said, sorry, I'm late. Work Zoom me. And that's okay, Tracy Ann. That's okay. That is okay. Um, Tracy Ann said, I'm on time for the semicircles. Yeah, you are, because you asked about this, Tracy Ann. You asked about the um semicircles. So I'm gonna show you what that looked like. Okay. Everybody's greeting Tracy Ann, sister Tracy Ann. Okay. Brit layering with semicircles. Yep. You always want to do the Brit layer. So you won't your your hair won't look gappy. And the reason why I recommend Brit layer because it makes your hair look more professional. It it makes it look more professional. You don't have a whole lot of gaps. Okay. Um T Will said, child, I'm watching pur for purely purely for support. <laughs> I learned a long time ago. This is not my ministry. T. Will said, I'm watching for support. Well, I appreciate you, sister. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. See, that's why I have a job. That's why I have a job. Okay, that's why I have a job. All right. Um, <laughs> Tracy Ann laughing. Vernell said, Acacia, can you come over here and read these comments while I do this hair? <laughs> <laughs> I have to think about because I am gonna I hope to have my I'm working on my course. Y'all know I'm I have a course that's coming out and it's gonna be called How to Braid for Beginners. It's gonna be a part one and a part two. It's gonna be one, 
how to braid for beginners and the other ones will be how to braid with um hair added so that course is coming out soon okay I, i'm probably going to record it sometime this week so be on the lookout for it but i'll probably start pre-selling it soon but i need to figure out even if i do a live class a live private class who's gonna be reading my comments or would y'all be okay with me stopping and reading comments y'all let me know y'all let me know um okay semi-circle Ronell said, don't worry about the Lisa left. Oh, don't worry about it, Lisa. The left-handed people use the right side of their brain. And that's and that is the right side brain of God because I'm left-handed too. <laughs> See, Ronell, you left-handed. See, you blessed. That means you you got some kind of creativity in you. I know everybody's creative, but left-handed people just hit different. I'm sorry. Left-handed people just hit different, okay? So y'all see how I'm twisting this hair? Okay. Tracy Ann just posted the link for the um fall scent glow butters. Oh, y'all, I'm in a glow butter warehouse. I make y'all, I got this new masculine scent. It's um, it's a leather. Y'all want to smell it? Smell it. Can y'all smell it? Can y'all? Ooh, that thing smells like a musky old man. You hear me? We're going to have that on the website maybe by October. Maybe by October. That that thing smells like a musky. It's, it's like a, a, cedar, a cedar leather. Leather. Leather tones. Very, very good. Okay? So now we're going to go in between this part. And after I do this one, I'm going to show what her side of her head is looking like. Oh, y'all, the baby powder. I got my baby powder scent. That smells good. We got some new new that's about to come. So thank you for posting that link, Tracy. Ann. Um, oh, this man can hair really needs a protein. <laughs> Tracy, Tracy Ann. Tracy Ann said this man can hair really needs a protein treatment and a trim. Tracy, I just say that you said that because when I first started this live stream, I said, oh, yeah, she needs a trim. She needs a treatment. She needs all that. But it's all good. I was still able to detangle her hair pretty well. Okay. All right. Vernell said, Coach, when is your birthday? Oh, her birthday is tomorrow, Vernell. Coach, she the birthday is tomorrow. Brit layering helps the twist look fuller as well. Yep, they sure do. So, y'all see that, those twists so far? It look uniform. It's not real gappy. It's not real gappy. Okay. So, I'm going to make these a little bit bigger because we, we ain't got all night. What time is it? It's already 10.03. We're going to make these a little bit bigger. But the hard part was out the way. If y'all missed the beginning of this live stream, of course, y'all can watch the replay. I show how to properly detangle your hair. So we're going to part it right there and make these like a little bit bigger. Because Abina, Abina, we ain't got time to be here all night. Okay. Okay, so Tracy and already told her that Coach Shane's birthday is tomorrow. Vernell said, and people that do hair, please make sure you get your hands massaged. They do that hold on and people that do hair please make sure you get your hands massage they do that when they give you massages for your body or actually nail tech because your hands are your money now vernell yeah now when i go get the manicures like on my nails they do massage my hands but see that's not enough because they do a little quick look they look slap that lotion on there do a little rub down that don't be enough. But when I do my full body massage, that thing hit different, okay? I make sure, like, if my wrist is really bothering me, I make sure they, they pay attention to my um my hands and my wrists, my arms, shoulders, all of that. But, yeah, those massages, that's a business expense, okay? That's a business expense. So, yeah, you definitely have to make sure you get those massages. Tracy Ann said, 
Tracy Ann said, someone say musky. Now, Tracy Ann, now you're supposed to be safe now. Yeah, I said musky, Tracy Ann. I said musky. I said musky. But you know what? You even the ladies might like the um the 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 new masculine scent. Do y'all see my hands? Do y'all see my hands? I hope y'all paying attention, even though I am talking. Hopefully, y'all paying attention. Um, okay, birthday is tomorrow. It's a lot of September babies in my family. Renee, when your birthday? Oh, Keisha's in the building. Hey, I can't shut. I go, I can't shut. Hey, I can't shut. I go, I can't shut. Okay. Um, thank you for joining Miss Acacia, head usher, aka bit sister, aka head moderator. Okay. All right. Acacia just come in, serving. Boy, the Lord gonna bless you. Tell, tell Bryce and I said, hey, the Lord gonna bless you. The Lord gonna bless you. Um, Acacia said, if you are joining this live, hit that like button. Thank you, Acacia. My head moderator and usher Acacia. Yes. <laughs> and Tracy and this book, uh, this clip, this uh posted the link for one-on-one -on -one hair coaching. Y'all see me, I see her and twist his hair like I ain't even talking to y'all. Twisting to me, honestly, twisting hair is very th therapeutic. Like, I don't mind twisting my own hair. I really don't. Dang, is it a little battery? All right. It froze, but I'm back. It froze, but I'm back. Okay. Yeah, I don't mind twisting my own hair. All right, Acacia said, oh, I never thought about massages being a business expense. I'm going to go get go get mashed out. Yeah. Well, I would say for a hairstylist, yeah, because, I mean, um, we work primarily with our hands. And somebody else told me something else, too, and I need to look into it. It's getting insurance on my hands. I didn't think about that, but I was on this call and they were saying something about getting insurance on your hands. So I had to look into that. And I was just like, that is true because I do work with my hands a lot. Get these hands insured. Get these hands insured. Okay? So y'all see? Her twist. Now, I don't know why that one looked a little puffy. Hold on. Maybe I was talking too much and I made that one. Um, maybe I was talking too much and made that one. Ooh. And made that one a little loose. Okay, let me retwist this one. Tracy Ann said, I like... Tracy Ann said she liked musky scents. Tracy Ann, that's your business. Um, always have. That's why I like Zaddy. I bet you it is why you like Zaddy, Sister Tracy Ann. Hope you say it over there, Tracy Ann. Talking about you like Zaddy. Okay. Q Scott is in the um in the building. She don't she don't slid on over saying, "Well, hello, ladies, special guests. Yeah, this is Abina. This is Abina. You know, last week y'all had met uh, Tiffany Lachey. She still got an attitude. Tiffany Lachey and Tanika they behind the camera. They ain't, they behind the camera. Um, Coach. Oh, Vernell. Tomorrow is your birthday too. Well, happy early birthday, Vernell. Happy early birthday. And happy birthday tomorrow to you, Coach Sheila. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't know Vernell's birthday. Okay, so I fixed that twist. So we all set. Now here's Tiffany Lachey. She still got her hairstyle. I don't know why she got an attitude. But here's Tiffany Lachey. Ooh, look. Ooh. She got the Aaliyah. Okay. 
Okay, sis. <laughs> she got the she got the Aaliyah going on. So this is Tiffany Lachey. If you missed my live stream last week, um, this was called um quick styles for your natural hair. So Tiffany Lachey still got her hairstyle. It's still holding up good. Okay, she got the one eye. She 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 decided to pull the one eye down for the Aaliyah this weekend. Okay. Abina, now you had to sit up, Abina. Now, if you go be on this live stream, you can't be embarrassing me. You hear me? Lift your head up and put a, put a smile on your face. Don't be embarrassing me. And then we got Tanika. Tanika, she got a twist out situation going. Y'all know Tanika. Here's Tanika. But she got an attitude tonight. It's her first night, so y'all forgive her. Y'all forgive her. All right, so we're going to do the other side. Do we have any questions? Because I ain't going to get through this whole head tonight. I ain't going to get through this whole head tonight. I, I feel like a little girl, but this is what I used to do as, as, a, as a child. I used to do this as a child. I used to have them baby dolls lined up. This would be my bedroom. I had them baby dolls lined up in the hallway, playing hair salon. And look how, look how things have changed. Now I'm playing with baby dolls on the internet. And y'all sitting here watching me. Ain't God good? Hey, if that uh Ryan's toy review can get paid playing with toys, I should be getting paid playing with mannequins. Come on, somebody. Oh, girl, you haven't got tangled that quick. Girl, Abina, what was you doing? What was you doing? Okay. Q Scott is greeting everybody. Okay, Tiff, you still look fly. Yeah, Tiffany still fly. She's still fly. And see, here's a sign that you need to trim. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all Abina's hair on the end. You see that? That's how you know she needs to trim. She got a lot of little stragglies at the end. All right. Um, everybody is wishing Vernell and Coach Sheena a happy birthday. Yep. Okay. She'll see through hair. See through hair. And if your hair seems to be tangled halfway through, you can take some of your product or your foam and apply it and then brush, brush it and then twist it down some more. So, yeah. All right. Do we have any more questions? I'm going to finish up this first, first section and that's going to be all for tonight. Because I ain't going to twist her whole head tonight. And I'm gonna I'm at least finish this first section so y'all can see. Okay, Tracy Ann said Abina needs <laughs> Abina needs a trim because I can hear the brush going through her hair. <laughs> well, she ain't got a lot of product on her hair either. She don't she don't have a whole lot of product on her hair. So that's probably why you hear. I got water dripping on her face. What's wrong? What's wrong? Why you got attitude? Why are you looking like that, though? You scaring the people online. You can't be looking like that. Now, if you can come here on my channel now, you got to have good vibes. Sha na 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 na. <laughs> Let me stop. Acacia, I got my white paper towel. <laughs> I got my white paper towel. I had some paper towels in this room. So if anybody need to be delivered, we got a real sheet tonight. Okay? We ain't got no socks tonight. We got a real sheet. Okay? Right. All right, we got this piece. And then remember, we still doing the semi-circle grid, making sure we got these two twists. So this one's gonna go right in the middle. Right in the middle, okay. And when you're doing like two strand twists, like say you twisting your hair for tomorrow. You want to have like a twist out. 
Remember, the size of the twist determines the size of the curl. So if you want your curls to be like super defined and have a lot of definition, do smaller twists. Now, it will take longer, but you will have super defined curls. If you want to have like medium curls, you do medium twists. You want bigger curls, you want more wave, you do bigger twists. So always remember the size of the twist will determine the size of the curl. It's like the same thing like when you get a rod set. Um, I mean, we had to do roller sets in beauty school. And the same thing will apply to rollers. So with the big rollers, you get the bigger curls. With the smaller rods, you get the smaller curls. Y'all remember straw sets? Do y'all remember straw set? Anybody ever had a straw set? Same concept. The straw set, you got them real, real tiny, real, real tiny curls. Okay, so I'm going to show y'all an example. Back here with the hand placement, you see two even sections. Make sure you cross one over and keep the hands tight to the scalp. Okay. And you let the hair move your hands down, not you. Okay. Acacia said she never had one. You never had a straw set? But now they just call it rod. This is a small rod set. I don't even know if they even do people get rod sets anymore. I mean straw sets anymore. Okay. Um, That reminds me on Sunday I worship the rest of saying, yeah, 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 yeah. Tracy Ann, Lisa done ruined that forever. Y'all would, look, now when y'all go to church and y'all hear that, yeah, 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 y'all can be in there laughing. See, I got to start talking about the people of God. I got to start talking about the people of God. <laughs> because I told y'all, when they did it at my church, um, we had like a guest pastor. And he was like, no, she was like, yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, oh, gosh, I you supposed to be in the spirit, Lisa. You you supposed to be worshiping him. I said, I got to stop. I got to stop. Yeah, 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 yeah. Would never be the same now. Would never be the same. And I even think Sophia was commenting on Q Scott video. Q Scott had his video on Instagram. And I didn't even notice it at first. I guess somebody in the congregation said, yeah, 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 yeah. I said, look, everybody is picking it up now. <sighs> So I just want to let y'all know that the two strand twist is a Holy Ghost approved hairstyle. It is <laughs> the two strand twist is a Holy Ghost approved. It is a praise and worship approved hairstyle. So if you want to <laughs> go to praise and worship, if you want to, um, if you have to go lay on the altar that Sunday, uh. The two strand twist is a good hairstyle if you're gonna fall out at church. If you like to do a whole lot of shouting, two strand twist is perfect. Okay, your hair gonna bounce right back. Okay, if the pastor wanna lay hands on you, he ain't gonna mess up your hair. Let him lay his hands on you. Let him lay his hands on you. Your twist ain't gonna come out. Okay, so it is a certified approved Holy Ghost hairstyle. <laughs> okay. Okay, Acacia said, no, I do too. Okay. Tracy Ann said, I haven't had a straw set in years. I wore them when I used to work out a lot, and it worked great for sweating. Yeah, they do, because the curls are so small. <laughs> Q Scott said, I didn't notice it either until she posted that comment. Q Scott, how could you sit there and not notice that you was there in the flesh? <laughs> you didn't know somebody said, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> now, Q Scott, when you be up there singing, don't be saying no, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, y'all, it's 1020. I'm about to go. Okay, I'm about to do these last three twists and I'm going to go. Because y'all got to work in the morning. I got to work in the morning. I got a long, full day tomorrow. And I need to go ahead and, and settle down. And maybe I'll just go watch maybe Coach Sheena's replays. I ain't going to ask her to go live. 
<laughs> oh gosh. All right, Tracy Ann said, Amen. Good old Holy Ghost approved hairdo. <laughs> won't stay on the hairdo, won't stay on the altar once you get up. <laughs> I just never forget that lady. And you know what? I commend her with that confidence because that lady shouted so hard. And she had um what one one week she had the fake ponytail, then the other week she thought she was doing something because she had the, the sock bun. Do y'all remember the sock bun? And every time it don't matter what hairstyle she wore, it was flying out. And I was getting me a laugh. You hear me? You hear me? <laughs> Sister so and so sock bun was off, her hair was off. And you know what? She always got up with some confidence, like she didn't care. Like, as she got out the spirit, she looked for that bun. She picked it up off the floor and she went to the bathroom and adjusted that piece of cake right on back and, and said in the service. I would have been so embarrassed. But she said, look, this sock bun, you ain't about to mess up my praise. <laughs> this ponytail, <laughs> you about to mess up my praise. <laughs> so get you a Holy Ghost approved hairstyle. Um... Get your appraisal and worship approved hairstyle so you won't have to do the walk of shame to the bathroom. I remember one day, one day she was even gangster, and maybe because it wasn't a lot of people at church, honey. She slapped that ponytail back on right there in that sanctuary. She didn't even go to the bathroom. She said, You know what? Y'all know what it is. <laughs> she said, Y'all know what? Y'all know what it is at this point. Ain't gonna need to go to the bathroom. She would whip that thing up so quick. I wonder how she doing. I'm going to ask my mama, how is sister? I ain't going to say her name. I'm like, mom, you seen sister so-and-so? She been back at church lately. I ain't seen her in years. <sighs> There's one thing about her. She got her praise on while we was back there laughing. Okay. Um, <laughs> Q Scott said, I had just come off stage. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. She said, get that money. I meant to say, same Q Scott, same, same. Q Scott, what you don't want to do is when you, if I come to one of your shows, don't look at me. Don't even look at me, sister. <laughs> don't even look at me. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, y'all. Coach Sheena got quiet. So. <laughs> Coach Sheena got quiet. Well, y'all, without further ado, this is the last two twists. I'm getting real lazy at the end now, but I'm going to show y'all how it look. I'm going to show y'all how it look. How her two strand. And this is a good mannequin. This is a really, really good mannequin because this right here, it really mimics the natural hair. Really mimics the natural hair. So we're going to have fun with this mannequin. Over the next couple of weeks, if y'all have suggestions or styles y'all want me to try, y'all make sure y'all comment below. Okay? Just the last piece in the front, and then I'm going to show y'all her head. And this is a quick, well, it should be a fairly easy hairstyle. All right, and then remember you when you twist, twist, twist till you can't twist no more. You take your fingers and do a coil. Okay, Abina, you ready to show the world your hairstyle? Okay, you gotta smile. Okay. Here's Abina hairstyle. Now these on the other side, I did a little bit bigger because it's time for me to go. Okay. So y'all go ahead and um, give it up for Abina for being my model tonight. It looked like she got a little smile on her face, man. It looked like she's smiling a little bit. So y'all give it up for Abina for being a, doing the Lord's work and helping us with this tutorial tonight. We praise God for Abina and her two strand twists. And um, yeah, we praise God for that. So we'll do some more styles with this. Do we have any questions, comments, or concerns? And she's going to do the pullback. Do she look like she's um, smiling now, y'all? Her facial expression doesn't change. Yeah. 
She got the pull back. <sighs> okay. All right, y'all. So this is Abena. Um, if we don't have any questions, comments, or concerns, we're gonna get ready to go. Hopefully, this tutorial helps y'all with detangling your hair and styling your hair hopefully this help if y'all got kids and if you oh this is another thing if y'all buy these mannequins on um on youtube they come with one of these stands so this is what i've been messing around with so it attached to a table now this table that i'm using tonight it don't really have the it kind of goes in and then like that so it works better with a completely flat bottom so that's why I kept moving. So I might have to connect it to my desk because my desk is behind this stuff. But anyway, I just want to let y'all know that it comes with the stand when you get it. So, so um, Q Scott said, if that mannequin fractures first, it changes on this live. <laughs> it did. She's smiling. Now, Q Scott, if you go watch this from the beginning, she had an attitude. But to me, she's smiling now. She's smiling. She's smiling now. Okay? She's smiling, Abina. Okay. Um, Tracy Ann said, I would like a tutorial on twist designs to wear in the front. I twist bangs and side clip, but that's but that's getting no. Okay, Tracy Ann. Okay, well, maybe we can do that tomorrow. So maybe tomorrow when we come back, we're going to twist the back of her head. And I can show y'all different ways you can style a two-strand twist. And also, Tracy Ann, you had asked me a while back how to tie a scarf with bangs. So I'll probably maybe do that in a tutorial tomorrow. Okay? I'll do that in a tutorial tomorrow. All right. <laughs> Tracy Ann said, I need to switch it up now. Some of this stuff getting old. <laughs> Queen Heart said, as in real life, getting your hair done can change a one's whole demeanor. She don't look as spooky. See? See? She don't look as spooky. Now, when she first got up here, if y'all go back and rewind, she looked a little questionable. She looked a little questionable, okay? All right. Right, Queen Heart. Hair can change a whole look. Amen. So, I want to personally thank all of y'all for coming in and watching this live stream. And thank you to the moderators for coming in and, and doing the Lord's work. We got Tracy Ann and Acacia. Thank y'all so much for serving and coming up here on this channel. And thank y'all for who stay with me live and watch this live stream. And thank you to those who's going to watch this in replay. Okay, so y'all have a wonderful night. And I will see y'all on tomorrow. Bye!